Hello there guys, it's Joel here, AJ Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought I would start a bit closer up to you, just so you can see what's going on with my hairline. I am extremely, extremely happy with how it's going at the moment, and it's looking fuller and fuller every day. It's still quite patchy um, in the transplanted areas. This isn't a full update, I just thought, I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. And I had my second PRP appointment the other day as well, which was very cool. So I'm hoping to see a lot more growth and hopefully fill these areas out over the next couple of months. Um, today I have a shoe unboxing for you, which I'm very, very excited about. You'll have seen from the title of this video already. Uh, thank you to everyone that wished me happy birthday. Uh, I posted over on Instagram the other day that was my birthday and so many of you said, Happy birthday, which is really kind of you. I'm trying to comment everyone back. I'm trying to DM everyone back as well, but it's taking a while. Um, so just know that I thank you very much. Some people even said it before I posted it. And I'm like, how do you remember? Like, I remember obviously like my close family's birthdays, Scott's birthday, and like my close group of friends. But like anyone past that, I'm always gonna wait to see like if it's on social media because my memory is like a sieve and I don't remember everyone's birthdays. So the fact that some people um, were messaging me, uh, like random people as well were like, happy birthday, like on Instagram DM. And I was like, how the fuck do you remember that? So thank you, that's very sweet of you. Um, so this, I guess is a bit of a birthday gift, but not really because basically I pre-ordered this last year in October and it's finally arrived. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna whack you on the tripod and we'll get into it. So I'm just wearing this like match, well it's not actually a matching set, but this is a grey sweatshirt from my last pickup video from AS Clo, and then these I got like last year at some point. Uh, I hate that they say psychotic state on them. I wish they were just plain. They kind of go as a little set together. I call this my like prison set. I don't know if that's like um, socially acceptable, but you know like, if you're in prison, I guess it's from prison programs I've watched. Um, they make them wear like these little training sets, especially when they're doing all their like little prison jobs. Um, yeah, that, I don't think that's the case today. <laughs> I need to stop talking and move on. So if you've seen from the title of the video already, um, today's unboxing video is for the Balenciaga High Alaska Boot. So they released the Alaska boot as part of the ski collection last year um, and they were kind of like an ankle boot I would say and they were kind of like puffer material. There was like a faux fur one as well I swear. The, the shape is really really cool and um, they've got like a very over exaggerated, it's giving like a mix of like Hummer, steroid, this kind of over exaggerated silhouette of a shoe but as like a little ankle boot. Little did we know that in the fall 24 collection which Demna showed in uh, Los Angeles, uh, right down one of the streets where you could see the Hollywood sign in the distance, the palm tree line streets which Los Angeles is famous for, Cardi B walked that show, she wore like a blue faux fur coat which was really cool. Um, having said that, after seeing the show I was a little bit underwhelmed because I had obviously been to the Summer 24 show in Paris uh, in the Mart um, and was like blown away by so many pieces. Um, so then to see <clears throat> the fall show, immediately after watching it, I was a little bit underwhelmed because it was Demna's take on like Los Angeles. Um, I don't know what you call people from that live in Los Angeles. Anyway, people from LA are uh, yeah, wearing athletic wear, they've got their coffee cups, they're going on their morning hike. They are celebrities being papped, coming out of places, wearing sweat. They are realtors, like the girls from Selling Sunset, wearing like Chanel cords and stuff like that. So I completely get like the vision of it. Some pieces that I absolutely loved and one was the incognito hoodie, which is like the hoodie that has two hoods and two sets of sleeves. I think sleeves are coming out of the hoods. Um, that piece was really, really cool. Uh, I loved the kind of pajama, um, huge trousers that were tucked into the high Alaska boots. So, like I said, we'd seen the Alaska boot in the ski collection, but now we were seeing a taller, almost Ugg-like version that was filled with faux shearling and a suede outer. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get anything from the ski collection 
Also, I don't ski. When I saw their knee-high Alaska boots, I was like, oh my god. So they do them in two versions. They do them in a flat version and they do a heeled version as well. I actually do kind of love how the heeled version kind of like, the way that the boot is like on a slant because of the heel, the, um, the top of the boot kind of like flares open, which I think looks really good. Um, but I got the high version in black. So as you can imagine, the box is huge, um, but thankfully I didn't have to carry these home. My SA was able to ship them to my house, which was very, very kind. I think when the product is so big, like I went on the Lalabo fragrance trip to Soho Farmhouse a few weeks ago, and they had this like giant concrete candle from the Lalabo. It's like three, 400 pounds or something. And um, they told me that when you buy one of those candles from the Lalabo store in London, they can pay for your Uber or taxi home because it's so heavy they don't expect you to carry it. And it's kind of, I guess, the same way with Balenciaga boots and shoes. Like, they're so big that when you're purchasing a pair, like, it would be kind of crazy for them to ask you to take it home. Unless you, like, drove there and you could put them in the boot of your car or something. So here are the Alaska boots. I don't know how well you can see them because everything in my room is black and white. So sizing is always a bit of an issue when it comes to Balenciaga boots and shoes. I am a UK 8, which is an EU 42. So whenever I buy or try on Balenciaga's, I usually go one size down. So when I pre-ordered these, I pre-ordered a 41. So then cut to me trying them on in store and the 41, my heel was coming up a bit at the back of the boot. So every step that I took, my heel was coming up and like going down, but not in like a comfortable way. Um, luckily, they had a 40 for me to also try on. And I have a 40 in a trooper boot. So I do know that's, that's like not crazy to try on a 40. So I tried on the 40 and they fit me perfectly. Like the size is perfect. The only downside is that I think that the boot looks a little bit smaller, like on my um, frame, I guess, and I like the fact that they were so huge, but I think literally on the runway, like on the actual fashion show, they'd probably make the models wear like size 44 or something. That's why they're all like struggling to walk. Um, kind of a serve though. But when I think about it, and I get my other Balenciaga shoes, so these are the piercing strike boots, which are a 42. So the 42 in the strike boot and the uh, 40 in the Alaska boot are basically the same size. So that kind of made me feel better when I was trying them all on stuff because I was like, no, this is actually my shoe size. And usually as well, sometimes Balenciaga shoes can be a bit uncomfortable, whereas these are lined with faux shearling and they are literally the comfiest pair of Balenciaga boots I've ever worn in my life. Having walked around um, Japan and Paris in steroid boots, uh, Santiago boots, uh, master boots, piercing strike boots, I would, honestly, the last thing you want is for them to not fit properly because if you've got any sort of like crazy movement or parts that rub, you're gonna be in so much pain. And I, I like to do a lot of walking and like, I know that a lot of, I guess, the typical high-end luxury customers are not doing a lot of walking because they are getting driven or paying for uh, taxis everywhere. Whereas I am just a regular 30-year-old guy who happens to like luxury fashion as well. Um, but I'm walking a lot of places. I'm not like, I don't have a driver. I'm not getting taxis everywhere. I'll do like 20 to 30,000 steps like when I'm visiting countries like Paris and Japan and stuff like that. When I'm visiting places, like I like to walk around the city and I can't do that. A pair of shoes that doesn't fit. Um, so it is, the fit is very, very important. What I'm hoping as well is that the more that I wear these, the looser they'll kind of get and the more kind of like relaxed they'll look. Cause I do, well, I love the shape and I love how high they are, but I do wish they were a little bit more like slouchy which I think is the vibe, really, if you look at the runway um, images of the show. So yeah, I'll show you what these look like on so you can see as well. Okay, so if we do a little close-up of them here. So I've been wearing them around the house, that's why they've got a bit of like white dust 
stuff on the bottom, but obviously you can see the sole here, it's kind of a cleated sole that they use on a lot of the other boots really. Um, see the comparison to the piercing strike boots here. Um, then we have a stamp on the back which says Balenciaga made in Italy and then the size number there. So it says on the website as well that the suede, sorry the camera is really bad at picking up suede so it looks like a bit gross but in real life it's very luxurious. <laughs> um, so it says on the website that it's a mix of uh, calf, hide, suede and synthetic. Um, so I don't know what the kind of split is. Then you can see you have like the tonal stitching all around. You've got the oversized kind of like reinforced toe box at the front from the same as the Alaska boot uh, from the ski collection. And I think the ski one's kind of finished about here and then these ones go up even further. And then inside, the stuffing's kind of helping you see the shearling even more, but look how thick and plump that faux shearling is inside and that is all the way down and into the the bit for your foot as well. Like the whole thing is just filled with plump cushioning, which is why I think it was even more important for me to get a size that felt like it fit properly because I feel like over time, this will kind of flatten down. So if it was already too big for me, it would over time feel even bigger. So I'm glad that I went with the 40 in this case. <sighs> Hopefully you can see the boots. Okay, I'm just wearing these like baggy sweatpants tucked in, um, but I am gonna try them with like short shorts, jeans, um, cargoes, see what kind of looks best. But I absolutely love the shape of them and I love when the pant kind of like falls out over it as well. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for them. I'm gonna wear them so much that they get really like battered. Um, and become like super soft and salty. But yeah, I absolutely love them and I think they're really cool. And uh, they're extremely comfortable as well. And yeah, when I move, there's no like big space for my heel to like get bashed around in or anything. Um, so yeah, that's the boot. One thing that I have noticed about them is that the faux shearling does come out sometimes. So they'll just be like a trail of black fluff wherever I go. Um, but it's a small price to pay. And I know it's just getting warmer here in London um, now, so it's probably not the best time to start wearing these, but I actually think they look really cute with like short shorts and a t-shirt and stuff. So as long as I can bear them in the London heat, which I'm sure wouldn't be that bad this summer. Fingers crossed. Um, I think they're a really cute summer piece as well. Um, I mean, they had them in the LA show, so that's that just tells you what Devon kind of intended them to be for. As long as I'm going in a lot of like places with aircon, I think I'll be fine. They also do these, so they do these as well in like a tan, like Ugg suede. They do them in a white, which is really nice too. And they do them in like a pink. They had them in red in the show, but I don't think they've actually produced the red colorway. I don't really see red being that popular anyway, especially in like such a bold piece, but obviously I got the black. So yeah, I absolutely love these. I'd love to know what you think of these as well. Um, I'll see you in the comments section so we can discuss. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as well. Don't forget to subscribe here for more videos in the future. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye! Mm -hmm.